I'm a loner. It's literally like playing badminton outside. outside. I'll never eat this ever again. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Actually, good afternoon. I'm about to head to practice. I had breakfast and I had lunch this morning. I set my alarm at 7.45 this morning to wake up and for some reason, my phone didn't go off. And I was just like, oh my God, when I woke up, I was like, did I miss practice? But I'm so dumb. Basically, I set an alarm yesterday too in the afternoon because I was gonna take a nap and didn't end up going off. And I was like, what is wrong with my phone? And then I realized that my time is still in Toronto. So like the time is right. It's just AM and PM is switched and that's why my alarm never goes off. So anyways, I'm glad I figured out that issue before the tournament started. First day of practice, I have practice at the main course today for half an hour and then practice courts for an hour later in the night. So yeah, just finished some mobility exercises and I'm getting ready to go to training now. So, tournament venue, four courts. Esther's here to practice with me because I'm a loner and I wasn't aware that there's other Canadians here, but actually, Khan is here, Michelle's um, sparring partner. I didn't know he was still playing tournaments. Just finished practice. Yay. It's very, very windy. It's literally like playing badminton outside. outside. On one court, the draft is going like that way, and then on the other court, the draft is going like the other way. It literally switches. It's so stupid. It's so it makes weird. No sense. Like, so I'm just gonna hit everything to the middle during my game because if I try to aim to the corner, it's gonna go out. I'm just gonna have to run more. Anyways, since Janjira got COVID, I took her court time, which was right after ours. And then the Indo coach was nice enough to give us their time as well. So I don't think I'm gonna go to the practice courts today. It's better to get more time on the main courts. Hey guys, got these pineapple egg yolk cakes from Khan. Thank you, Khan, if you're watching this. You're probably not watching this, but thanks anyways. Yeah. We're gonna taste test it. But I it says never tried these. I can't believe it. Yeah. So taste test. They're individually packaged. It's so cute. cute. And then it smells good. It's like my favorite. Cheers. It's very sweet. I like this. Oh, it's just so good. This doesn't really taste very pineapple-y. It just tastes like just sweet. It's good though. I rate it a 8 out of 10. 8? That's so hard. I would rate it like a 6.5. Maybe 7 is fair. I think it's pretty good. Mmm, it tastes like this bun that I always eat. Guys, it's More free snacks. snacks from the hotel. This is one of them. They're like squid chips and they're like really good. Yeah. I guess we're gonna taste test everything. This is what the chips look like. I think these would be better if they were spicy. How do you rate these? 7.5. Seven, but if it was spicy, eight. Green onion crackers. And we both changed. You like green onions? Have you tried these before? No. I have. These are all like <laughs> Chinese Asian This tastes like nothing. Yeah, it's usually pretty tasteless. This doesn't taste like green onion at all. It's supposed to have like a hint. A hint of it. Really? <laughs> I rated a zero out of ten. <laughs>
I'll never eat this ever again. <laughs> what do you rate it? I kind of like this. Really? <laughs> Here, you can finish the rest of them. <laughs> yeah, I think these are chocolate wafers. This is what they look like. Mmm. I think I like them just because I like chocolate. I like chocolate, but I don't really like wafers. So. I rate this a um, 7 out of 10. It's like a 5. Good morning guys, so today is the next day and I didn't vlog after practice yesterday because all I really did was just eat dinner and stretch in my room. Dinner was kind of whack. There was a small piece of pork chop and then like a huge bowl of rice. And I feel like I've noticed something about the meals here. They give you a lot of carbs. Like literally for lunch, I had this huge bowl of spaghetti and there's so much spaghetti, it was crazy. I'll insert my plan for today here. I have two sessions of practice. I'm joining the Americans in the afternoon. But the bus schedule is so whack here like i'm always leaving practice super late like i always have to wait an hour and a half or i'm getting to practice super early like an hour and a half early because there's so little buses anyways um i just got breakfast this is what it looks like it's literally two huge buns and like a chicken salad i think and some pineapples we also got these like yesterday for dinner oh. Oh. okay i guess i'm not eating that anymore literally fell on the floor but it's like this bun thing with like custard inside and it was like meh i'm not gonna taste this, this because this is literally just breakfast food and it's gonna be boring see you guys at practice also, I have to do a COVID test every single day. I'm currently doing that right now. This tournament is like so strict and we have to like do our COVID tests and give our results to the people downstairs in order for us to leave the hotel. I just thought you guys should know because this was never a thing at any of my other tournaments, but yeah. got back to my room after practice and practice with some of the players from ukraine and germany it was pretty fun it was a really short session we just did one drill and then we played triples i'm going to training later again with the americans because one session isn't enough for me every day i am eating lunch now there's a variety of stuff so i thought i'd do a little taste test with you it's kind of dim sum themed i think so here is a huge mushroom is this a mushroom even i don't even know actually no it is a mushroom it's not a mushroom. It's a bun with sesame sauce. Three out of ten. Sumai. Seven out of ten. Dumpling. Five out of ten. Ball of rice. I don't think this will taste like anything. Oh, it's not a ball of rice. There's meat inside. Mmm, not bad. Seven out of ten. I have no idea what this is. Like mashed potato. Five out of ten. Vegetables. Normal. Five out of ten. Last but not least, we have a tasu bao. Okay, it's cold now. It kind of tastes bad and it's really hard, but I'm pretty sure if it's hot, it would be way better. 5 out of 10. Everything's a 5 out of 10.